Hey everyone, this is Dr. Kanita here to show you all about my new uh, medical device that I'm gonna add into the clinic. So this is called the Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy Chamber. So, or HBOT for short is what I call it. So Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy is basically adding oxygen under pressure um, into the system. So um, how it kind of works is right now in the atmosphere, we're breathing around 21% of oxygen, right? So when we breathe that in, you know, our red blood cells get the oxygen and transfers it to, you know, all the cells in our body, right? So in this case, in the hyperbaric chamber, what happens is um, you breathe in around, now it's not 100% oxygen, but it's like 90% oxygen. But the difference is, we're going under pressure. So right now, to keep it simple, um, in this environment, we're about one atmospheric pressure. But here, when you go under the chamber, it's 1.3 atmospheric pressure. Um, and so what happens is when you add that pressure in conjunction with um, breathing in more oxygen, you're actually perfusing the plasma with a higher concentration of oxygen. Um, and you can't really do that under any other circumstance. Like you can't just even if we breathe 100% oxygen, you still get a benefit, but without that pressure, you're not adding in more oxygen into the plasma and the tissues. So when you're adding the pressure in conjunction with uh, breathing in more oxygen, a higher concentration of oxygen, you're actually adding a whole bunch of oxygen into your plasma, into the tissues that may in certain areas that you could not get uh, the oxygen there. So like, why would we need oxygen, right? We need oxygen to breathe, but what's kind of the other mechanisms that oxygen works? So what's called the powerhouse of our cell, the mitochondria, right? That's the part of the cell that makes have energy, right? To exercise, to run, to think, to work. Like we need our mitochondria to work or else like we basically couldn't do anything. So in the mitochondria, we have this amazing thing called the electron transport chain. I'm not gonna bore you with all that, but at the very end of the electron transport chain, you need oxygen to actually, what's called like accept the last electron and that creates ATP or creates energy. So when you're adding a bunch more oxygen into our system, you're essentially allowing your mitochondria to work a lot more because your mitochondria want to do stuff. So as you inhale more oxygen, it gives you more energy. It helps with like healing injuries, right? You need oxygen for that. Decreases inflammation. Um, increases a lot of antioxidant function. So all that are super beneficial to make you feel better, to increase your energy, to help heal tissue. So hyperbaric therapy is really great for that. Um, so this is my little soft chamber. Um, the, the different kinds, like a hard chamber is that you see in like the hospitals are more for wound care, more for like really um, uh, serious conditions like crush injuries, gas gangrene. Not something that you, I would see in clinic. I hope I don't really want to see that. So soft chamber can is still really useful to help with any kind of sports injuries, recovery, headaches, migraines, um, any kind of inflammatory disease. Honestly, so we can kind of explore all of this here. And I have oxygen concentrated in the back, so I'm gonna start. Should I just start going? Explain. Okay, so. In the soft chamber, um, even the ambient air uh, is still fine, but I'm adding oxygen into the system and I have a um, little mask here to do that. So this is a little cool thing so you can um, inhale more oxygen in this place. So and you can kind of feel it in here too. Fortunately, I can't, you know, I don't have a patient, but I can kind of show you how the whole process works. So here I would have the, you know, the patient go in and they're going in and sit and typically uh, sessions are around like 60 to 90 minutes. So you can bring a book to read. You can take a nap in here. It's very comfortable. Um, so they would lay in there with the mask. I, I have a pillow there for them. So first I'm going to buckle this together. And then we're going to zip the inside so you need to get this whole chamber pressurized correctly so this has to be sealed so we have like a double this this chamber has a 
inside and outside zipper. So make sure that close all the way. So make sure this is closed. And then now I'm going to turn on the, um, the air. So the fun part. So this is part where it's going to start to inflate. And with the patient, uh, when you're going under pressure, you have to actually equalize your ear. So doing like the Valsalva maneuver, right? Making your ears pop. Because when you go, think about when you're adding pressure to the system, your eardrum, right? It's going to actually push into your eardrum. So you need to be able to push back to what's called equalizing your ears or else, um, it's going to kind of hurt. <laughs> it's going to feel uncomfortable. Um, so this goes to about, if you come over here about like, a 1.3 ATA or atmospheric pressure or about four PSI. So you can kind of see how it's slowly inflating. So this goes to about 1.3 ATA, which is pretty normal, um, for the soft chamber. So, uh, you know, right now I'll be checking the patients doing well and they're feeling good, not getting um, too much air or feeling, sorry, they're not getting too much discomfort in the ear. And then once it goes to pressure you can kind of hear the valve go. So it's going to try to, um, balance the, uh, pressure. And this is where you have to kind of check, make sure patients feel uncomfortable. So the going, going under pressure is what takes the longest. And then once they're under pressure, it's pretty, it's almost like you're just sitting, you know, in a regular room too. So it's very comfortable. Um, again, you can just like read a book, take a nap and the patient would be here for around like 60 minutes to 90 minutes. And then soon you're kind of here. Once it gets to pressure, you, the chamber will start to equalize too. And you're here like venting. So it's getting there. So right now it's still around two PSI, so it's still going. So we're getting, we're trying to get past this blue area right here. So that's when you know that they'll be under pressure. So again, this uh, can be used for any kind of sports recovery, for any uh, acute injuries, especially for, um, you know, if you have a head injury, it's super important to get treatment right away. Of course, go to the hospital, but also the hyperbaric uh, chamber can help with that too, right? Cause it's lack of blood flow to the brain can cause damage. So uh, the brain is a tough spot to get uh, oxygen into, right? Cause it's a blood brain barrier, a lot, it's like not a lot of space. So hyperbaric is only the only ways to kind of get that oxygen into the brain to help heal it. So yeah, right now you can kind of hear a little bit of the venting. So almost at four PSI. So this is just the, the valve to if, let's say the patient was feeling uncomfortable in their ears. So you can control this of like how much to vent out. So then it goes slower, uh, so that their ears can kind of equalize. Um, so there's ways to kind of customize and make sure they're going, that they're feeling comfortable going under, um, but it's kind of loud. So I mean, kind of, so you can kind of do that. But right now it's keeping it closed. So right almost at four PSI now. And then when it gets to four, it's going to start to vent on the uh, ends of the chamber a bit. And actually, this is one of those chambers you can do it one, um, by yourself. But didn't want to do that to just talk in the chamber. That'd be kind of weird. <laughs> but next time I'll kind of show with someone in it. So now you're kind of hearing the, the venting. So this helps keep the pressure at the at a safe um, depth. So it's gonna do this the whole time. And when you're in the chamber, you won't hear it as much. But um, yeah, so that's basically kind of how it works. And they would just sit and the, the patient inside just feels, you know, like they're breathing normal air. So kind of the basis of how, how this works. And then when it's done, I would basically bring them back up, right? So this is, you're adding pressure into the system. It's basically based off of dive medicine. So bringing them back up is actually much easier. You, you would just feel your ears popping a lot. Um, and it's not too uncomfortable. You would try to go slow coming back up essentially, but, um, yeah, so this is kind of how the hyperbaric work is really easy and really comfortable.